Wow, burnout. Wow, burnout again. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to work the man pedal. The man pedal, for those of y'all that don't know, is the third pedal on the left. That's your clutch pedal. Then you got your brake and you got your gas. And by the way, this is Grandpa Joe. And I know I got all my grandpa socks and my sandals. And I don't want to hear nothing from you, you young and whippersnappers, talk about my socks. So Shut your mouth and pay attention to the lesson and learn something new for once. Smart ass. Here we go, man. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and start the car. Put on the brake, turn the key. All right. Now we're gonna push the emergency brake down. We're gonna shift over. So I have to go to the first gear first. Get it get synchronized. Go to the left, lift up, and that's going to take us all the way to reverse. So that's, different cars have different things. Some cars you got to push, it'll, when you do it like this, it won't go all the way to reverse. You got to push harder. It's like extra friction to get into reverse. So a normal strength that you use is not going to get you to reverse. You just push harder to get to reverse. Some cars, you go over to where reverse is, you push down on the stick, and then that's going to let you get into reverse. Here's the opposite, because it's Jarman. So... Here you gotta push over, lift up, go straight into reverse, and you're good to go. All right, let's get rolling. Go into first. So I'm in position now, and now we're gonna go ahead and pull off from a stop. So first things first, <clears throat> got my foot on the brake, my right foot is on the brake because we're not moving right now. So I wanna make sure the car doesn't roll away from me. Emergency brake is down. I'm gonna push the clutch pedal all the way down. I'm just gonna move my foot so you can see the clutch pedal all the way down. Again, make sure you push the clutch pedal all the way down, all right? And then you wanna also, before you start the car, you should have checked if you're in neutral. The way you do that, as we mentioned before, is by going rocking the rocking the boat back and forth. Rock your stick back and forth. That's letting you know you are in neutral. All right? Now, we're going to go ahead and shift into first gear. Now, normally, I'd have my foot on the brake. I'm just removing my foot so that you can see what's going on with the pedals here. Let me give you guys a better angle here. Make this camera move a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shift into first gear all the way to the left and up. All right, so now we're in gear. Now I'd be very careful now. Once you're in gear, you're locked in, you're committed. You're ready to move. So if I put my, if I release the clutch pedal, the car is gonna start moving. So I have to be careful now, making sure that my foot is all the way down on the pedal. Now, first thing I wanna show you is, before we just start driving around the place, I want to show you something. This is a very important, very important thing for you to know. I don't need any gas to get this car moving. Pay attention right now. Look, look what I'm doing. Car is idling right now. I have my gas foot is crossed right now. It's not on the glass pedal, gas pedal at all. You can see the drift ghost S down there by itself. There's no foot on the on the gas pedal at all. Just on the clutch. All right. Now you can focus right here. Look at the RPMs. All right, now I'm gonna actually just pull off on the clutch pedal a little bit. And we're starting to move, I can feel it. RPMs dropped a little bit, and now we're moving. Now I'm gonna push the clutch pedal back in and hit the brake and come to a stop. All right, so notice I was able to get the car going without using any gas. All right, all right, got my foot off the gas pedal again. Now pay close attention to the RPMs. I'll give you a nice close-up shot. There's the RPMs. Now, looking at that, you're gonna see it drop a little bit just as the clutch starts to engage. So what happens is, as I'm releasing the pedal, the plates are getting closer and closer. And I got a video, you can check out my channel, which I'll tell you how the clutch plates work and how the clutch works, all right? So just imagine you got these two plates, one side is connected to the wheels, 
The other side is connected to the engine. Right now the engine is spinning, it's turning. I have the car engine on. Right now it's idling at, I don't know what that is, 500 RPMs or whatever it is. Right, so there's your RPMs. So the engine is spinning around, all right? But the wheels aren't moving because we're stopped, right? Now, if I release the clutch pedal all the way, I'm gonna connect the engine to the wheels, and since the engine's turning, the engine's gonna start trying to turn the wheels, all right? But a critical detail is that to know that this is a two-phase process. When I'm releasing the pedal, the first thing that happens is you start moving and you're not really doing anything yet. The clutch plates are getting closer and closer. You're getting closer and closer to connecting to the engine to the wheel, but it doesn't happen right away. Eventually, you get to what we call the friction zone. When you get to the friction zone, that's when the, pe the clutch plate starts making contact. But since it's only touching lightly at first, you don't have enough friction to move the car. But as you start to move further in the friction zone, it's going to start trying to move the car, so the RPMs are going to dip as the load of the weight of the car goes to the engine, because the engine's turning free right now. Now, if I start connecting the engine to the wheels, the wheels aren't moving, the engine is. So the engine's going to start trying to move those wheels, and you have the weight of the car that's resisting that, all right? When that happens, that's when the RPMs are going to dip a little bit. That's when you know the action's about to begin. You're about to start driving. That's, the, that's your indicator. It's about to go down. RPMs dip a little bit. If you li listen closely, you'll hear the sound of the engine dip a little bit. All right? That means you're about to start engaging the engine with the wheels. And soon after that, you're going to start moving. So... When you get more advanced, you're going to learn how to get quickly to that zone, slow down there, so you can ease in and do a smooth transition into gear. Now watch closely. I'm going to give you a nice close-up of the RPM meter as we get moving. No gas at all, just idle. All right? I'm going to move pedal up right into the friction zone. All right? Now we're starting to get enough pressure. The car is moving, and this time I'm going to release it completely. So now you can see I can actually drive. I'm moving the car around in a circle with idle, just idle. All right, let me show you how powerful this is. I'm gonna go up on this, uh, I'm gonna go up on a, on a speed bump right now, right? That's gonna give even more resistance for the car to move forward. This is gonna represent kind of being on a hill. So moving on flat ground is one thing, but what happens if I'm on a hill? All right, this is, and this is just a slight hill, right? It's a speed bump. So I've got, got a lot of resistance. It's very important that you pay attention to this. All right, so right now I got the front wheel right on the speed bump. All right, no gas at all. No gas at all. Releasing the clutch pedal. It's in the friction zone right now. So right now the car isn't moving, but I'm in the friction zone. So I actually have the clutch plates are touching. I'm going to stop doing that. I don't want to burn it too much. But at that point, the clutch basically the engine and the wheels are starting to make contact via the clutch but there's not enough contact for all the force to go to the wheels so you're sliding a little bit you're sli basically you're slipping that's why you're not moving but now if i continue to release the clutch pedal but very slowly if i don't move it slowly i will stall the engine very slowly it's sliding a little bit even more there you go we just went over there you go I just made it over the speed bump with no gas at all. Now we're stuck on the top, gravity just pushes us down. All right, that's very important to know. And why that is, is because later on when you're gonna try to start you know, going up a hill and you start doing it the proper way, in the beginning you can use the emergency brake to cheat, but when you start doing it the proper way, then you need to have the confidence to know that the car has power. All right, and I don't care, you know, you say, I don't have a fast car like you or whatever. You know what? Trust me, you've got the power. You've got the power. <laughs> you've got the power, man. You just have to basically be gentle with that clutch. When you're doing that kind of thing, you're on a hill or whatever, it, you, you, you're high potential to stall. So what you want to do is you want to basically be very, very slow. You want to go straight to the friction zone and you want to ease it in. Just basically slowly release the clutch, engaging more and more power until, boom!
boom. <laughs> oh, no, it's not, nothing like that. Um, uh, boom means you probably stole the engine. But un uh, until the car starts moving is what I meant to say. All right, so that's, that's pretty much all there is to it, man. I think one of the things that you want to do when you're, when you're starting out is this is what you do. Basically what we just did a while ago. You find a nice spot where there's no one behind you, whatever, parking lot or whatever, and you keep doing this. Clutch pedal all the way down. You're in first gear. All right? And now foot is on the brake to stop the car from rolling back. I'm going to slowly release the clutch pedal. Wait until that, that, at the, the power starts to transfer. I'll hear the engine dip. I'll see the RPMs dip. And right at that friction zone, right at that point, I'm going to just proceed and engage the full power. That's basically by pushing the, uh, the, the <laughs> releasing the clutch pedal all the way and eventually having enough power to move the car forward. So basically you wanna keep doing this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, clutch pedal up, friction zone, start releasing the brake and releasing the clutch pedal even more. And as soon as the car starts moving, go ahead and stop. Clutch pedal all the way down, gentle brake to a stop. Keep doing that because this is one of the hardest things when you learn how to drive a stick is starting from first gear, starting from a stop rather. All right, so you want to practice this over and over and over again, over and over. I can't sing. Why am I singing? So you want to keep practicing this. So again, foot on the brake. All right, start releasing the clutch pedal. You're going to get to that friction zone where you're going to see the RPMs dip a little bit. You're going to hear the engine start to labor a little bit. The pitch of the engine is going to change. Listen for that change. Or you can look at the RPMs right here when you're learning. And once you get to that point, that's when you want to start releasing the brake and the clutch pedal at the same time. As soon as the car starts moving, clutch pedal all the way down and brake, gently brake. Keep doing that over and over again until you get comfortable to where you actually release the clutch pedal all the way and start driving a little bit. That's how you want to start the process of learning how to drive a stick shift. All right, it's that simple. So I'm going to go over this in more detail in future videos. But this is, again, just a, an introduction, so kind of a primer type of deal. So I'm going to uh, kind of wrap this up here by just going through a couple of gears so you can see. All right? So I'm gonna, you guys are going to drive a little bit here. All right, here we go. First gear and clutch pedal up, friction zone, brake up with clutch pedal now. And as soon as we get good to go, we're good to go. So we start rolling. First gear and clutch in second gear and friction zone nice and easy all right that was slow because i'm talking to you so i'm gonna i'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to shut the hell up so i can drive the car all right so just watch what i do first gear second third neutral and first gear, first gear, second gear. Now I'm short shifting. Basically what that means is I'm shifting really early, just for demonstration purposes. Coming up to a speed bump, down to second gear, brake, and clutch pedal. First gear, first gear, second gear, all right, I'm just going to rotate around here a little bit. show you how a clutch works. Rucho Lamborghini was born in a Lamborghini Huracan. If you love cars the way I love cars, then you're probably gonna wanna click on that subscribe button.